Well, welcome back. Former President Trump says two major changes would unlock economic growth in America quickly. Energy independence and lower regulations. I spoke with the former president about his expectations for the economy. He's promising that his potential return to the White House alone would send a message to markets. Watch. Let me ask you real quick on Bidenomics and what you want to do in terms of economic growth. Yeah. You talked earlier about energy yeah. and you talked about regulation. What is your plan to get the economy growing again? And do you still think we're going to go into a recession? Okay, so number one, well, if the, if we have, if there's even a thought that Trump is getting elected, you will never have a recession because people will start investing money, you know, before the fact. And right now I'm leading Biden by a lot. But what I would do is very simple. I've got to get interest rates down. To do that, we have to get rid of the inflation because inflation is a country killer. You know, inflation, you can look back 200 years ago, what it's done to other countries. Germany, you look at other it countries. It is coming down. It's coming down, but it's coming down from a very high base. Year high. It's already gone up 40 percent if you add it all up. Now it's coming down from a very bad base. And what they're doing is... They're putting the interest rates at a point. Nobody can borrow all the... So you may have somewhat of a recession. If people think that Trump is going to be elected, you'll never have a recession. If people think I'm not, you will have more than recession. You're going to have a depression. He goes on to discuss specifics in terms of how to get the economy moving. Be sure to tune in to my full exclusive interview on Sunday with the 45th president. Sunday Morning Futures uh, will be on Fox News Channel at 10 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. Joe, your reaction to what you just heard, he's saying, look, as soon as the markets expect that perhaps he could be going back, then they'll start investing in the country again. And, and that in and of itself will lead to growth. What do you think of that? Well, we saw that happen in 2016, uh, in, in late yeah. November, where the market exploded uh, following President Trump's victory. Uh, I, I think whenever he's uh, in an interview with you or with anyone else and he's talking about economic issues, he really is slicing Joe Biden's Achilles heel. Uh, there is a clear difference in the economy under President Trump and the one under President Biden. And when he talks about the economy and frames it in, in, in terms of these sort of kitchen table issues that he often does, I mean, no American can look across the table at their spouse and say that their family is better off. I should say very few, but, but there really is not uh, um, any gains uh, that the American family is seeing when inflation is still uh, as high as, as it is today. Yeah, it's been a tough two years. There's no doubt about it. And part of Bidenomics, Rebecca, is uh, massive spending. The Democrats spent, uh, you know, so much money in the last two years. The Biden administration, unbelievably, this morning is announcing plans to forgive thirty nine billion dollars in student debt uh, for over eight hundred thousand borrowers. Rebecca, we've already had the Supreme Court ruling, ruling this unconstitutional. And yet the Biden administration this morning announced that it will forgive $39 billion in student loans. It, that's shocking, Maria, because the Supreme Court could not have been more clear. They basically said in their ruling that basically the impact, the economic impact of the CDC, that they were, that their case, they decided that the CDC didn't have the authority to stay foreclosures and keep, you know, people from getting kicked out of their homes, that that was not something that was able to be done with the, the uh, authority that they were using. And so to use the HEROES Act, which is what the Biden administration did to forgive the student debt, that that was a major question, Stockton. This is all a legal nuance. But the point is, that it was already determined that it was not something the administration had the authority to do, that it was a broad sweep and that it had to go through Congress if they were going to actually have this much of an economic impact through the major questions, Stockton. As a lawyer, that's what I'm talking about. And so when Trump, I agree with Joe 100 percent, when Trump starts talking economics, he is slicing the Biden administration every way to Sunday. This Bidenomics, where he's touting manufacturing as we're losing manufacturing jobs, as the cost of capital has gone up astronomically, as businesses are don't know where they're going to actually continue to fund and refinance the cost of capital that has been low for 15 years. Now it's astronomical. This is where uh, Trump wins hand over fist with the Biden administration. As far as Bidenomics is concerned, I think that we are in for a big problem. I mean, maybe the economy will revert and, and go great if they think Trump's going to win, but I don't think so. I think that the economy will think that it won't be Trump for until the end, until like the night he won in 2016, where the market was, you know, basically uh, thinking that it was going to go one way. And then it switched to negative when they realized, mm. oh, my gosh, Trump's going to win. And then obviously it came back. So, no, well, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs>
Well, I mean, look, Joe, the plans in terms of Bidenomics include spending. The Democrats spent six trillion dollars in the last two years, and it includes higher taxes. President Biden was very clear with Speaker Kevin McCarthy. He wants revenue and he wants to do it through higher taxes. Uh, the speaker held the line and said there will be no agreement to tax increases. But that's Biden's plan and that's Bidenomics. Yeah, ultimately, Biden is, is a, a plain old basic Democrat who wants to spend more. He wants to uh, uh, basically reward special interest groups with, with the kitty uh, of the federal government. Uh, we saw mm. that with, with what you mentioned, with, with, the, with this uh, student loan forgiveness. I mean, th there could not almost be a better wedge issue for Republicans to pounce on uh, when you have uh, part of the country who was college educated making more money uh, somehow being subsidized by the poorer middle class and working class. I mean, th yeah. th this is the basic plan under Joe Biden, and it's not going to have yeah. good economic benefits, and it's not going to have good election results. Yeah, and make no mistake, forgiving uh, student debt is more spending. It's more stimulus. And it's amazing to me that they would say we're forgiving $39 billion in student debt after the Supreme Court just ruled it to be unconstitutional. Uh, we're going to keep a watch.